Hello, I'm going to show you um, Miracast. Uh, this is a software from Origin about um, sharing video through Wi-Fi. This is can be done uh, from one device to another device. So, so first, let me explain this first uh, board. This is a Optimus board. It is a uh, selling sold by uh, Mary. It is a Chinese uh, supplier, and it is shipping a uh, Horwinner Hay. AT uh, CPU. This is an octa-core uh, ARM um, um, processor, and uh, it is uh, shipping also a Wi-Fi adapter, uh, all kind of input-output. But I will uh, show you it. Uh, it will run. Uh, it is shipped with uh, Android, and uh, I will show you. Here is a HDMI uh, uh, screen for display. This is a USB touch screen because I have um, a Yamaha Polite uh, T2852MTS screen, which is a touch screen, um, a wide touch screen display. And uh, now it's booting. It's booting Android uh, 4.4.2. Uh, running a Linux kernel uh, 3.4 uh, as most uh, Android uh, as most uh, Sunxi uh, devices most or Windows devices so let me show you some uh, it was uh, in, in Chinese uh, when I got it so I had to switch back to English uh, using this uh, submenu the hey key anyway let me show you the version okay Android 4.4 firmware 0.9 kernel 3.439 build on year last year so this is the first device now I'm going to show you uh, another one uh, uh, let me show you uh, it was uh, some it was also providing some uh, Android applications and Google Play now let me show you uh, another board. This is a Holimax uh, open hardware board known as Olinuxino uh, A20. This is a number of the dual core CPU from Holwino also. And this is a micro version. It is a, a very cheap board. It is open source hardware. You can adapt it to create uh, anything you want. It's got some uh, compliance also. And uh, we have uh, uh, USB Wi-Fi adapter connected to it um, so let me boot it also I have it displayed through VGA let me show it oh there is an okay um, so it will boot uh, Ubuntu this is Ambient this is a community for this kind of uh, device the Lime one also and uh, this is a Ubuntu flavor we are running with a Sunsync kernel. This is not the same kernel, but uh, we have some patches in. Now it should boot in a few seconds. This is running the hex server uh, because we need uh, the graphics acceleration. So now I'm ready to, to use uh, this uh, Miracast uh, software. So the first thing I have to do is to establish connection. So you have to switch Wi-Fi on, then go to the display menu. This is uh, valid on all Android devices and cast screen. Uh, now I switch it on. I think it's already on. Yeah. Okay, yes, it's on. I can switch it on again. Now it's scan the network and look from uh, all kind of sync. There is only one. This is mine. I connect it to it, and the connection will be established. As we can, we can see the Wi-Fi um, LED is blinking, and the, the screen is shared now. So everything I'm doing this side will be will appear this uh, side also. So let's have a look at the performance. We can uh, run the clock application. And we can see it's not the delay is not too much, uh, a couple of seconds, not much, maybe less. I don't know. 
and um, the benefit of uh, this protocol is that uh, you can uh, uh, share one display to another display as long as it is uh, supporting uh, the Miracast uh, uh, feature. So um, we can uh, do this on this uh, this hardware, but also on our, our kind of hardware. We have it running on the Mino board and also on this. Uh, uh, free scale IMX6 uh, device. This is a Sabre SD, and uh, it can also run on the PC uh, on the all kind of uh, operating system, mostly Linux. Uh, but we have it running on Yocto, on uh, Billboard, on Intel C, and uh, Tizen lately also. So that's it for today. If you have some question about the software, this Miracle software, please contact uh, our logician. I will give you some information. That's it. Bye bye.